Welcome back to the Nice Guys Show, guys. I'm Phil Torsivia, and I'm the author of uh, funny books about dating and relationships. Uh, I also want to mention the show theme is really good, and I have it linked on the Wazillo Media page. It's called Come Again by Dodge and Fusky. Dubstep, good stuff. There's also a good site you can check out called turntable.fm. I just found it this week. And you can go on there and listen to different DJs play music, and you can even be a DJ. That's kind of fun oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, fun. yeah, I'm here with Melissa, <laughs> Dr. Michelle, and Jamie, and uh, we're talking about fitness. And one of the, one of the things I've, I've noticed in the gym a lot lately are the uh, sockless shoes, like the shoes that your toes fit in. Yeah, actually, it's funny. We, uh, her cousin and I, he asked me about that last time. We had a conversation about that. Yeah, what's shoes. up with, with those? Are they? I mean, to me, they, they look like they're not sanitary because you they, obviously can't yeah. wear socks with them, right? Right. I would say no. no. So, unless you with the so unless you get the socks that have your toes separators toes. too. So what what's the deal? Why are people wearing those? What's the Apparently benefit? it's really I mean this is one of those it's a trend. Well, it, but it does also go back to the whole yeah. power grace is like the fact that your foot is your foundation. So if you're strengthening the muscles in your foot, then you're strengthening your foundation. If you strengthen your foundation, then you have better receptivity from, you know, toe to head. Uh, Born to Run is a really great book that talks about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it just it talks about how different cultures um, throughout the world have been running for years barefoot, and they don't have any sort of bone issues, ligament problems, tendon issues, or muscle you know strains. However, it's really important for you not to just start running. Exactly. And it's, I mean, people who wear these shoes and start, and I learned this when I was doing my willpower grace training. They had a we had a little segment on that and. They were brought it to my attention that people, you know, run on the beach. You run on the beach, right? You've had walked on the beach. It's extremely difficult. Yeah, it yeah. hurts. Sure. And so people are going out buying these shoes and going on ten mile runs yeah. with them. Oh no way. Right? You know, it's like you have to work up to it. As any, you know, I again like ran long distance, and you work up to that twenty mile run. You work up to that marathon or that half marathon. You don't go out and you do just do an eighteen mile run. It's you know, it's with wearing those shoes too. You don't go out, you don't put them on, and go for a three-hour run. I didn't realize people were running in them. I and thought, you don't I thought run. they were just wear. I mean, I have people yeah. come to the restaurant in those stupid shoes. Yeah, yeah they, they and they I feel like saying, silly. "I'm sorry, you can't come in here with yeah, those stupid shoes." Yeah. People, I, you know, I they look stupid. I'm sorry. They do. People work out in them a lot too. Yeah. You could do your yeah. strength training in them. It's just really important to know that these aren't to run in. Right. Unless you start Unless work, you, you, right. you build it into your, your, your fitness. You build, you know, you start running. Maybe you run a mile. A couple and you don't run on concrete. Yeah, people are going out and thinking. Oh, your blisters yeah. probably. If you well, do that, no, no. Right? What happens no is there's no give with concrete. I mean, oh, if you right. can imagine, right. yeah. if you're running on Shin the soil, splits. the earth has a natural give mm -hmm. and wave to it. But you know, people are running on this hard, compact surface, causing all sorts of other issues. I would say run on the beach bare feet totally. with bare feet instead of those shoes. Instead of those shoes. Yeah. Down yeah. by the water though, you don't yeah. want to. I mean, loose sand, you can't run it. That would just right. Brutal. It is. <laughs> it is. It's good workout, though. Yeah, and it's you know it's and great. a pedicure all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> right. Exfoliation, well, you running. Yeah, off. you're gonna beat the heck out of your toes. Your pretty toes. Well, it's funny. So you guys wear heels all the time, so you yeah. You Actually, no, I prefer flip flops oh, in the mountains. You know, yeah. I still wear flip flops every day. <laughs> I love being in bare feet. I, I when I travel, you know, I love being able when I go over to Indonesia or when I've been down to Central America. I mean, I never wear shoes. Really? I walk down the street in bare, with bare feet. I love it. I hate it. And I think it's being living in the city. Couldn't do it. My feet are too sensitive. Nine, eight <laughs> years of wearing heels in the city. Yeah, but and those legs need to have heels on them sometimes. Yeah. You have to do the men of this world a favor and put <laughs> heels on those legs. We appreciate yeah. it. Sure we do. I don't know how you guys pull it off wearing them because some of them are like, wow. I put a pair on last night there. and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to break my ankle again. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do people do for uh, belly workouts? Like, if you want to try to get rid of belly fat, is that mostly a Wait, diet thing? Wait, let me thing? get my notebook. I need yeah. to about <laughs> well, this. Well, it's a lot of little, I mean, it's huge on diet. And yeah. both Michelle and I, I mean, we're gluten-free, dairy-free. And, <laughs> I mean, I have a very restrictive diet just for uh, a personal preference out of... Yeah, it shows, too. You, you know, I, yeah. But uh, will I ever have a six-pack? No, I just feel like women, uh -huh. in general, don't. Produce a six pack as easy it's as a man. It's not attractive on a girl. I'm sorry. I you guys don't want that. I like a soft curvy. You're supposed to be right, soft. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But fun. you have a lot of. Um, it's. I. I really find it interesting to watch people work out and watch what they do. So my clients will never go on an ab machine. I will never put anybody on an ab machine, and that's With the weighted machine. Well, anything you could be lying down, and in the they make the crunch, and then you kneel and you go side to side to work your obliques. Never. No. Never. Because and it. You don't think that it. 
it's works supporting. or what? You're, you're, it's helping you work out. Those machines are there to assist. Okay. So you're actually not using your own body to to work out. And I've, I, you know, I have a mat, uh, Pilates mat. Uh, certification as well and that is I had a, um, I teach a spin class and we do abs right after and I had a couple guys in it last week and I gave them a little Pilates mat where oh my god they could not do it it was they're like wow we've never done that before we lying on the floor and like doing you know right. it's a lot of uh, flexion extension so crunches would be your flex extend your stabilization exercises would be your plank you're not moving instead you are just using your entire body to strengthen the core region and then you have your obliques your side your rotational exercises okay so i find it really important i usually start with a rotational warm-up a wood shot from high to low or low to high that pick up behind you and yeah put place with a boat. ball in your hand like wait ball, or you don't need i it. do the cable machines okay. um a kettlebells mm -hmm. um uh, love that and then um i do a like a if you are holding on a cable machine you can do something like a you're swinging. Just, yeah, kind yeah. of back and forth, back and forth. You can do it with st uh, step and take a step back. Well, that's what I used to do with, um, it's like kind of like a baseball right. style Right, also with your uh, love handles probably, right? Yeah, so you can do stuff like that. Um, and then stabilization would be your planking and stuff. So I like to mix a little bit in with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I will give them a crunch. People, they want to, if they work out, they want to be doing crunches. That's what you think right? right that's what you, i'm that's sure what that I, yeah, yeah that's what crunch, crunch 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 right yeah but i mean I that yeah. targets the more the upper region of the belly where your stabilization exercises or more of your pilates based exercises really focus on the lower half of the belly underneath the belly button okay um that little pooch that we all <laughs> love so much <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh, well people have it um <laughs> yeah. so there's a concept and changing it up too you know changing up your workouts and yeah. Just making sure that you're doing a total, an, everything. Because you're working, I, a lot of balance exercise, you're talking about standing on the BOSU, that's yeah, going to work BOSU your core. Thing, yeah, I actually bought one of those. And boy, did I make an ass out of myself. I'm glad there was no one in the house to see <laughs> me try to do it. But yeah, j just balancing, just trying mm -hmm. to lay across the, the BOSU ball, mm -hmm. you know, on your side and keep right. your balance. Yep. Just not, I mean, they're, they're making it look Stand so easy on, on the it. DVD. Right. Well, standing on it was hard enough. Yeah, standing, but I mean, to actually, you know, lie across it or, right. you know, even do sit ups on it, you could feel it's a whole different workout. Yeah, it know? is. And there's exercises that I bring to my clients and I still do myself. And generally, it's a good exercise if I've been doing it for the last eight years. It's something <laughs> sure. that never, it never disappears. And it's something that's still, it's still good. After a couple of days of being, um, not working out, I can do it and I will feel sore from mm. that exercise yeah, like and that. there's certain things with stability balls and you know even having a client stand on it and do bicep curls you're working your core so again i do a lot of conditioning style classes and training where you're doing push-ups body weighted you know with weights but more like a lunge a push-up a squat would be your conditioning exercises and mm -hmm. using your body in that way instead of sitting on a machine you're already using right. your core. you're already getting two for one hmm. so well, what about um the high intensity interval training where you like I know when you're running, you can sprint and yeah. then mm -hmm. jog and then sprint and then jog. And same thing with weights, right? You can, you know, yeah. lift quickly and then slowly. And is that beneficial? Like well, interval changing, yes. Interval changing, like anything else, changing it up is going to shock the body. Mm -hmm. So your actually, your body's not going to, your body's going to respond better. It's with weight, same thing with weights. If I did the same routine for the last 20 years, same routine, I would never have a change in my body. Initially, yes. It takes about three months to see a change. Um, funny, because we were talking last night, Jim and I, about P90X. I saw a commercial. I've never oh, yeah. never done P90X. I've yeah, never even seen what this thing. is. But it's super popular. I've heard oh, a lot of yeah. people. Yeah, and I'm like, over 100 bucks, too. Yeah. I'm like, what is this thing? You know, what, are they, what do they do? And I'm like, oh, three months, and they're showing the before and after. I'm yeah. like, I'm sorry, but three months, is you're not going to get a body that looks like that no. with this one thing. I'm just, I, that's my own personal opinion. But they change the <clears> workout. <throat> Like every right. day is different. You have 90 different workouts. But it's you? funny. People think that they're going to get that initial oh. change once they come and, you know, see, start seeing a trainer or change their diet. But it's that continuation and that continual tra uh, changing. So intervals as in a spin class or in even yoga. I mean, you can do all kinds of different intervals. I teach a hit, a high intensity interval training that I've designed and it's, um, based on three different types of intervals. You have a length, a distance interval. Mm -hmm. So that would be in the gym floor, end line to end line. That would be your length. Or it might be a plyometric length. We have five hurdles, we're going that far. Okay. I have a timed interval. So we might do something for 20 seconds, something for 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It really depends on the exercise, um, how long I wanna do it. And then a count interval. I want you to do 25 kettlebell, 
very uh, count oriented high number of repetitions yeah. you're looking in your 20 to 40 range of repetitions right where some other things i might do you know do push-ups for one minute without stopping it's hard, yeah, it's hard. It's and i teach a yeah. tabata blast class as well and the tabata's another interval style class where you are at seven or eight different stations and you're 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest Hmm. repeated eight times so it's initially a four minute segment and then you move to the next station right but it's that high intensity into that rest making sure you're getting the high intensity and the recovery right so you're raising your heart rate, mm -hmm. heart rate and lowering yeah. it and raising it lowering it yes yeah. the there's thing. something it's really interesting there's some there's an article about interval training versus and in, uh, versus endurance training in one of my fitness magazines one of my trade magazines i got last month and it's you know as an endurance athlete that's what I, I like that. That's, I like, you know, the little short bursts I'm not used to, but you know, as an athlete yourself, I'm sure right. you're used to those short bursts. Yeah. Baseball is exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Small bursts, shuttle runs, plyometric right. and agility. And now that I'm starting to bring that back, I've noticed a very big difference. And you just, I mean, especially in the altitude, I live at 8,000 feet. So right. oh, wow. yeah, it's, it's hard like to, to incorporate that in to, uh, to your, getting your being able to sit there and breathe and do those short little intervals so it's something i've just changed now you know i'm doing more of that but you have that in strength training you have your endurance your sets of 15 or more would be more of an endurance weight loss lightweight yeah. a lot of repetitions yeah, lower the weight and do a lot of reps yeah right or you can do more of a strength base 10 to 12 Mm -hmm. at a medium um the more toning women a lot right. of that's what they want or you can do more of a bodybuilder style yeah many many yeah. sets very heavy weights very low reps so there's light cardio strength everything you have different ways of doing intervals and good to know all right i feel more firm just talking about it <laughs> thank you for I the great information being here there right you now. Go. hey we'll be right back in a minute we'll uh we'll talk about the media and what's been going on